Well, greetings, everybody. I am speaking to you from Cebu City in central Philippines. This is a very important uh, place for the Filipinos because Cebu is considered the cradle of Christianity in the country. Magellan came here in 1521 and established the Christian faith. We're going to go down probably in a couple of days and broadcast from Magellan's cross, the remains of a cross that he uh, gave to this, uh, to this island. He also brought with him the Santo Nino, a little statue of the child Jesus, which is now the center of a very vibrant uh, devotion in the Philippines. I think it's because of all these associations that the bishops decided this would be the place to have the International Eucharistic Congress, the 51st one. They began in the late 19th century, and this is the 51st time it's been done. So Catholics, priests, bishops, cardinals come from all over the world. We had a wonderful Mass this morning with the retired Cardinal of uh, Manila, and you just saw the range and universality of the Catholic Church. It was wonderful to see. I gave a keynote talk this morning on the Eucharist, and it was just a thrill to look out at this throng of about 15,000 people. It's a wonderful experience. Tomorrow I'll be uh, involved in a number of interviews with the press from here and from around the world. And then on uh, Thursday, I'll give a talk to the young people. Uh, I'll probably talk about the spiritual life, uh, finding the center, knowing you're a sinner, realizing your life is not about you. I'm still juggling some of these themes. I might uh, say something different to them, but that's my current plan. And then we head home on uh, Friday. So listen, keep following us. We'll do an update every day. And above all, continue to pray for us as we pray for all of you. And God bless you.